class and today we are going to learn and thinking and discuss about the edge week dye. We know about the color dance and textile dyes, it is one kind of dyes in case of textile. So let's go. What is edge dyes? First we need to know about the dyes contained in insoluble edge group are known as edge weak dyes. What is edge group? Edge group is the chromophore which is containing color. We can show the color in your fabric. So this is the dyes containing insoluble edge group are known as edge weak dyes and these dyes are not in ready made form. So we need to prepare it. And this then are producing color. Edge dyes are such kind of dyes, they are insoluble dyes but they are not in ready made dyes. We need to ready that dyes. First, in coupling compound naphthol when react with the diazonium compound then it is produce color. Azuric dye is also known as naphthol color, magic color, pigment color, ice color and etc. And this color substance from in this colorless compound is soluble in water and washing fashion of this is excellent. First of all in the first part this is and then it is producing color. All azuric dyes is azo dyes but all azo dyes are not azoic dyes, it is two term and also azoic dyes difference between azo dyes and azoic dyes at first we need to know about the azo dyes the dyes which contain azo group are known as azo dyes all types of dyes it can be reactive it can be direct the dyes which contain azo group known as azo dyes okay but what is the basic difference between azo dyes and azoic dyes Azoic dyes has two types of reaction, in situ reaction and ex situ reaction. Here is the basic difference in the reaction where in case of azoic dye, when naphthol and diazonium compound react each other in the dyeing bath, then it producing color. Here the color produced in the dyeing bath in the reaction. So it is known as in situ reaction, when the color produced in the bath. But in case of other ex situ reaction, the dyes are already prepared beforely. It is not producing in the dye bar. This is the basic difference between azo dyes and azoic dyes. All types of azoic dyes are azo dyes, but not all azo dyes are azoic dyes. Because why? Because azoic dyes also contain azo group. This is azoic dye, azo dyes, but not azo dyes are azoic dyes because they not azo dyes, azo group containing dyes are not prepared in dye bath. Okay, so this is the basic difference between azo dyes and azoic dyes. Let's go about the properties of the azoic dyes. What are the basic properties of the azoic dyes? What are the chemical reaction of the azoic dyes or what are the mechanism of the azoic dyes? At first we need to know about three steps naphthalization, diazotization and coupling or development. Just three steps. We need to remind just three steps. First of all, naphthalization, diazotization and this is coupling or development stage. So, in case of naphthalization stage, naphthol, we know about the naphthol. Naphthol are normally insoluble in water to produce a juic dye. At first, we need to soluble it. Naphthol are insoluble in water and they are converted into water soluble compound by treating with alkali. It may be in beta naphthol or alpha naphthol. It is depends on the position of the naphthol, so ortho, para, meta, etc. So there's no fact, but when we treated with the alkaline condition, alkali solution, that is produce soluble naphthol. Okay, this is the first step: naphthalation, soluble naphthol. In this soluble naphthol, we need to impregnate, impregnate or immerse the our pre-treated fabric, scarred bleach fabric, on this soluble solution the naphthol are already in the fabric next diazotization in this case diazotization a base containing amino group any types of base containing amino group reacts with the sodium nitrate to form a diazonium chloride in the base of presence of excess Hydrochloric acid at 0 to 5 degree temperature. This is much more interesting. 0 to 5 degree temperature. Uh, so it is called also ice color because why this uh, reaction takes place on 0 to 5 degree centigrade temperature. Okay. 
any type so base containing amino group when react with the sodium nitride at in presence of hydrochloric acid at 0 to 5 degree centigrade temperature then it is produced diagenium salt okay diagenium salt we got to naphthol and diagenium salt and now our third stage coupling or development at first the impregnated band containing the naphthol are treated in a bath containing diagenium salt solution to carry out the coupling and thus the color is produced inside the fabric the ph 5 to 6 is maintained to important so where does the soluble naphthol which are already in the fabric and then diagenium salt we are producing about a diagenium salt and soluble naphthol when react with each other then it is produce a dye which is known as azoic dyes clear so we got three steps naphtholization diazotization and last coupling or development okay uh, why azoic color is called ice color because we know about the coupling is finally soluble in diazotization reaction the reaction of the dyes take place on 0 to 5 degree centigrade next why azoic color is called magic color why it's magic color first of all in first bath it is also containing two baths first of all soluble naphthol plus fabric it seems to be colorless there is no dyes here in first bath but when you are immerse your fabric with the diazenium salt when they are in reaction then they are producing color it seems to be that there is nothing in your fabric but after that you are getting a colorful substance oh it is also magic as like as a magician are we a magician we are a magician okay you can show a magic and your different types of students in case of this huh? okay it seems to be two a step oh azoic dye is called magic color why it is called azoic dye you know about azoic dye azoic dye is called magic color okay but why it is called magic color because what is magic Magic color, azoic dye, this is another name of azoic dye. What is your name? Arif. And I also have another name. What is your other's name? Adnan. It is also your name. So if we call it azoic dyes in another name, we can say as ice color, we can say as magic color, and etc. etc. Why it is magic color? Because in first bath it is invisible, but in second bath it is producing color. Okay? It's like a musician. This is the development bath and the dyed fabric. And it's producing color. It is a pigment color. We know about the pigment. We know about the basic difference between dyes and pigment. The pigments are insoluble in water, but dyes are soluble in water. In case it's though it is insoluble in this phenomenon, we can call this a pigment color. Okay, so that's why it is called naphthol color because we use naphthol in case our main component, so it is known as naphthol color. We can call this a different process. For dyeing with azoic dyes, what is the process to dye fabric with azoic dyes? At first, prepare the textile material such as scarred bleaching, etc. And then, fabric or textile material is treated with soluble naphthol in first step, naphtholization, soluble naphthol, and then preparation of the base salt preparation. The reaction is known as diazotization. Okay. Then, naphthol treated solution plus base or salt solution when react each other, coupling solution and color developed by coupling reaction this is very simple and there is no need to extra temperature here as like as the uh, reactive dye it's near 60 to 100 degree centigrade or any other dye as dispersed dye 130 degree centigrade there's no need but it is for only cellulosic fiber general procedure for dyeing if we think about the we need to at first produce our uh, recipe so the recipe for impergination bath in the first bath Dyes, sodium hydroxide, auto water, cold water, polymaldehyde, here is the material is to rigor, 1 is to 10, etc. At first, we need to soluble our naphthol. Okay. So for this reason, for naphthol preparation, we need to follow a procedure, a specific procedure for naphtholization. At first, naphthol and glycerin are added in the dye bath, then sodium hydroxide is added in the bath, and finally, salt and water are added into the bath, and fabric is immersed into the solution for a few minutes and become naphtholated. The naphtholes are in the fiber how the naphthol are in the fiber there is two phenomena first of all the naphthol particle are outside the solution and the naphthol solution are near into the fiber they are surface at the fiber absorption and the first the naphthol solution are diffused in the fiber this is 
absorption and some naphthols are outside this is known as desorption and this adsorption and absorption known as sorption so this is when the naphthol are in fiber and this is the base compound or coupling compound add with each other and this is produce color uh, this is for base recipe and dyeing uh, what are the dyeing and how uh, treated about the prime factors are amount of hydrochloric acid and sodium nitrite to produce diazotization or coupling compound we react amine base to sodium in presence of acl to react with the sodium nitrite about 0 to 5 degrees centigrade it is producing diazonium salt in this case if our acl for diazotization excess amount of acl and sodium nitrate is required to complete to complete dissolve or complete reaction of all ingredients their presence can be tested by congo red paper and at the end of the diazotization the solution containing fairly large amount of acl and this piece is by sodium acetate we can use in any types of acid or base to control to prepare and to maintain our ph in the dyeing bath temperature what are the factors and lower temperature better stability for diazotization of the salt solution very low temperature it increase cost of maintenance and also it is also depends on some metal so we should on the diazotization should be carried out in non metallic vessel and other than stainless steel because most metal to promote catalytic decomposition catalytic what is decomposition decompose means to break down so when we are using the metal vessel then it can react with them and our diazonium compound can be break down and can be inactive we can use in naphthol dyeing what are the fun functions caustic soda turkey red oil formaldehyde and salt this is very simple caustic soda soluble the dye material produce alkali medium turkey red oil used for softening agent dispersing agent and formaldehyde ensure the actual level of dyeing properties for proper dyeing salt to increase the substantivity of the azuic dye in the color so we are at the end of our class next the precaution which we should follow precaution impregnation impregnation bath of the liquid can be preserved a day or two days we shouldn't it's more Developing bath liquid cannot be preserved for a day. Developing bath, coupling compound, we shouldn't preserve in a day. We should instantly work on it. And naphthol material should never allow to come in contact with acid, alum, and sun ray. And generally, two to three minutes duration suitable for both impergenation and developing bath. If any impergenation and developing liquor mix together, the entry will be inactive and useless. In some cases, there is no fabric, but there is a naphthol, so soluble naphthol solution and diazonium salt. They are also produced color, either they are fabric or not. That doesn't fact. So in this case, we will lose our dyes. The, in this impregnation and developing liquor mix together in the entry, nature will be inactive and useless. Okay. This thank you for today. Today we learn about the azoic dyes. This is the azo containing group. So azoic dyes, three steps, naphthalization, diazotization, and finally. Uh, in this case, which if you think and if you talk about the serviceability properties, that what will be the rubbing properties, what will be the uh, color fastness to light, what will be the washing wash fastness, it is admirable because when is this insoluble form in your fabrics? Several times you can wash your fabric, but the dyes are not in. So this is also good uh, uh, wash fastness, perspiration, rubbing. But in case of rubbing, if there is a extra dry in your fabric, if our wash are not good, then it will create a problem. Okay? Today, thank you, all of you. So, in the next class. Thank you, sir.